Looking for magic carbs? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of Pokémon singles and sealed product. Use promo code LVD at checkout to get my personal token for free. Hello and welcome to another new historic gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a mono black control deck titled New Control, as I alluded to in my previous video, and one of the key cards in the deck is Legion's End, a 2 mana sorcery saying exile target creature an opponent controls with converted mana cost 2 or less, and all other creatures that player controls with the same name as that creature, and then that player also reveals their hand and exiles all cards with that name from their hand and graveyard. So Legion's End can be very backbreaking against a lot of creature decks in the format like the Thieves Guild Enforcer decks, the Ruin Crab Mill decks, the Stitcher Supplier decks, so a lot of decks that rely on a single creature that Legion's End can be very effective against. Then we're also packing 30 copies of Thoughtseize as a way to disrupt the combo decks like the Tibble's Trickery deck, where if you see the opponent aggressively mulliganing, you also typically want to mulligan until you find a Thoughtseize to take away hopefully their only copy of Tibble's Trickery. Then we've got 30 copies of Leyline of the Void, which shines especially against the Stitcher Supplier self-mill decks, because the opponent won't be able to put any cards in their graveyard when they mill with the Stitcher Supplier, since they end up straight into exile, so that also means they won't be able to deal any damage to us with Creeping Chill. And then we've got 30 copies of Necromancia as another card that's very effective against any combo decks or decks that rely on a single card, as we can take it away and search their entire library for those cards and exile them. And then our win condition is 30 copies of Crypt Breaker, which is also useful at discarding cards we don't need, like additional copies of Leyline of the Void or Necromancia, or Thoughtseize if the opponent's already empty-handed, and turn those into zombie tokens, and we can tap three untapped zombies we control to draw a card at the cost of one life. And then the mana base consists of 64 swamps, 10 copies of Castle Lochthwain as an additional card draw engine, and then 10 copies of Crawling Barons, which can also be a win condition, especially in the mirror match, if the opponent has an answer like Necromancia, our legions and for crib breaker we can still potentially win the game with the crawling barons instead sadly no room for companions since we're playing leyline of the void so we cannot play Lorus, but we are playing 250 cards as another measure against the various mill decks in the format so that's our deck now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does all right we're on the draw facing a Lorus of the dream den deck so this is probably some sort of mirror match in which case thought sees is not bad and then I guess Leyline we can put in play. So not sure what the opponent's win condition is going to be. As they lead with Thoughtseize. Takes Necromancia. We draw another one. Alright, so Meddling Mage is one of their creatures. Yeah, that's another pretty good one. Um, yeah, I guess we'll take a Meddling Mage. Second Meddling Mage, probably gonna name Thoughtseize. But then we could draw Legion's End to answer the Meddling Mage in play. So don't really want them to have two of them, one naming Thoughtseize, the other naming Legion's End. Names Thoughtseize as expected. Necromancia, gonna have a look. Name's Necromancia. And I'll get to see my entire deck. Well, at least we get to make a zombie here. So I need to draw my own Legion Sand for Meddling Mage. So we can Thought Seize again. All my Necromancias are gone. They maybe wanted to attack first. Alright, we drew the Legion Sand, perfect, so get rid of Meddling Mage. Another Necromancia in hand. Um, I think we take the Necromancia, otherwise they can name Crib Breaker, and I'm gonna have a hard time winning. Alright, Crawling Barons was actually a nice one. Gives me a resilient win condition. And I think I will Thought Seize here. Alright. So Lurus versus Crawling Barons. 
meddling mage, probably named Scriptbreaker or Legion's End. Name Scriptbreaker, which we just drew. But we can start leveling up Crawling Barons. Opponents already down to eight. And our ley line stops Lurus from getting back Madling Mage. Not our thought sees, not super useful. So we just need any land here and we'll be fine. I guess we can thought seize the Lurus here. Yeah, they can keep their Necromantia. Crawling Barons can kill them in one attack. They can name Crib Breaker. But yeah, opponent's just dead on board. Names Legion's End. So yeah, this was an interesting mirror match, and Crawling Barons ended up being the decider. But Meddling Mage also a very interesting addition for the archetype. Our opponent's getting rid of every single copy of Legion's End, which is going to take them a second. That's a lot of clicking. They did not go with a 250 card deck, unlike us. Alright, all the Legion Sands gone. And Crawling Barons across the finish line. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. I think I gotta keep this. The opponent didn't mulligan, so makes it less likely that they're a trickery deck, so even though we're missing thought seize, we've got most of the other cards we want. And then a single ley line should be plenty. Can discard the second one with our crib breaker. Opponent with a blue black pathway. So maybe a ruined crab mill deck. Merfolk Secret Keeper, gonna mill for four. Well, we've got a lot of cards in the library still. Play Crib Breaker. Opponent might have their own Legion's End if they're playing a blue-black pathway. Mono-blue for now. I could Legion send the Secret Keeper also to kind of see what's up. And the opponent concedes. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. This is not gonna cut it. This is better. Now for opponents on Trickery, we don't have Thoughtseize, so that's potentially an issue as well. And they did take a Mulligan, so they could easily be a Trickery deck, but... I think I'm still trying this. Right, opponent also has Ley Lines, so it looks like another mirror match of sorts. Aha, uh -huh, they might be a food deck with uh, Oko. We're not very well equipped at dealing with Oko if we don't have an early Thought Seize or Necromantia. In Search for Greatness, never mind. Pretty neat combo with Leyline of the Void as well. So not sure what 5-drop they're going to cheat into play next turn. I'm just going to make a zombie. Nissa who shakes the world, nice. Yes, their opponent's got the Leyline against the Stitcher Supplier deck. They're probably pretty weak against the Trickery deck. But yeah, they're making a turn 3 Nissa, that's quite powerful. And I don't think we really have a way of beating that. I guess Legion's End can get rid of all their lands. So maybe that's the way to do it. Although they're eventually gonna ultimate, so... 
Who knows? Another greatness. I guess we'll get rid of Swamp for now. So I could Legion's End attack for three. Next turn do the same. Or I could wait another turn, make another zombie. It might be better. Ooh, a Vraska Relic Seeker, nice. Well, our opponent's got a spicy deck. <laughs> and a Nickel Bolas got Pharaoh. Well, they probably had pretty much the perfect draw here. But yeah, that's a pretty cool one. Seems a little flimsy and vulnerable to some of the faster combo decks, but it's definitely getting the job done here. Can make another zombie, but yeah, this game's over. Days and this animates the uh, forests. Can double block, or we can hope for Legion's End. Just a swamp. Bolo's gonna deal 7 damage to our zombie. Did that hurt? We can level up our crawling burns at least. Show no mercy. And another crawling baron, so I could animate this now, but... Yeah, I think uh, we're pretty dead. Was definitely not expecting the Vraska and the Nicol Bolas. Could maybe build a version like this with Thoughtseize. To have a shot against the trickery decks. So I can animate this. And then block jump, still take five. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play, and yeah, the sand seems okay. No legion sands, but we've got the thought seas for trickery, crib breaker as our win condition. Hmm, opponents on the creeping chill deck. Sadly, no ley line, but we can eventually necromancia. For now, probably take a supplier over village rights. Supplier deal six. Hits us for one. And we're gonna necromancia on supplier, I think. And then the second one can go after creeping chill but we can take our time and make some zombies first so we don't get overwhelmed by 
zombie tokens if the opponent has a bunch of creeping chills in hand. Alright, mills two more creeping chills, we're down to five. Yeah, I mean, we could be dead here. Alright, all creeping chills in hand. But a lot of stitcher suppliers in library. This is gonna take a while. So the rest of their deck is village rights and creeping chills. Just double checking that we got every single one. Now our opponent can eventually hard cast their creeping chill as well. So it's gonna be tricky to find the right balance between making some zombies so we can necromancia before they can cast their creeping chills, but at the same time don't want to cast a necromancia too soon, otherwise they just get a bunch of zombie tokens that can kill us. Opponent's gonna village rights just to hit their land drops. Opponent does hit another creeping chill on the way out, so... Yeah, I'm gonna need to make zombies pretty quickly here. Probably get rid of a swamp and then play Crib Breaker. Opponent passes, Leyline I can definitely discard. Yeah, having a ley line in our opening hand would have been very useful. Alright, so they might be sitting on creeping chills and village rights. As soon as they play third land, they'll be forced to necromancia on creeping chill. If we had more life to spare, I could be drawing some cards as well. Alright, there's a third land. And now it's time for Necromancia. And we'll find out how many Creeping Chills they have in hand. Alright, they have... Three, four, five, six. Wow, opponent concedes. They probably shouldn't have conceded yet, because... I had a difficult choice here, because if I take away every single creeping chill, then they would get, you know, enough zombies that I'm forced to block with my crib breakers, and then the game's not over yet, but yeah, I guess I'll take it. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play, and yeah, the sand's good against a variety of decks. No thoughtsies for trickery, sadly, but we'll try it. And one ley line's enough. Turn one swamp. We're just gonna make a zombie enough turn discarding ley line. Thieves Guild Enforcer, alright, so Legion's End should be a winner here. Opponent's going to double Thieves Guild and force us. They might as well play their Enforcers just to mill me for a bunch, so their future ones will be a 3-2 Death Touch. And yeah, opponent already concedes. And by casting the Legion's End first, we make sure that they don't get any zombies from the Necromancia. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and we've got a picture-perfect hand here. Every single one of our cards, two lands. Let's see what our opponent's up to. Aha, Persistent Petitioners. 
You kind of get to play that in regular historic too. Or I guess old historic. So both of these should be incredibly effective. We're also playing 250 cards, so it's going to take them a while to mill us. And our opponent explodes. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw with a nice opening hand. Good mix of interaction here. Let's see what the opponent's up to. Turn one pathway into Colossus Hammer. All right, so probably not the matchup for Leyline of the Void, but maybe a matchup for Thoughtseize. So it's the Colossus Hammer fling deck. Uh, well, they've got a Resolute Strike and a Charger. Probably just take their only creature. Although I can Legion's end it before they get to fling it. So maybe we take the Resolute Strike then? Sure. Double Charger. We can Legion's end. And our opponent concedes. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and no thought sees, but we do have Leyline and Legion's ends. So we should be fine against Stitcher Supplier at least. And turn two, I can maybe discard a Crib Breaker and make a zombie. It's going to be Swamp and Stitcher Supplier, so that's not going to be very effective. And we get to Legion Sand right away, but the opponent already concedes, so yeah, that's why Leyline's so good in the deck. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. Fine hand. Hopefully we're up against a combo deck where Thoughtseize is good. Our opponent on the 250 card stack. I see triple Runed Halo and Gideon's Intervention. I don't think Runed Halo works against zombie tokens. I guess we'll take Intervention, although that also doesn't really work against my zombie tokens. I'm not sure here. I guess we'll take the Intervention anyway. Yeah, these cards typically don't work against creature tokens unless there's an actual magic card with the same name as a creature token, which doesn't come up very often. So they can Ruined Halo, name Crib Breaker, but we still have the zombies. Not sure what the green is for. Let's have another look. All right, then our opponent packs it in. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw. This hand is weak to trickery, but good against most other decks. Turn one islands into rune cramp. All right, we've got the legions ends, and yeah, let's uh, thought seize in case they've got something other than rune cramp. Madden cacophony. All right, good to know about. 
they are playing Fabled Passage, so they might not be able to play both crabs here. But we can still get the other one out of their hands. So we should have quite a lot of time here with this many cards in library to assemble an army of zombies. Opponent gonna mill us for six first. Also have Crawling Barons as an extra win condition. Crab can mill me for six. They're probably going to hang on to Fable Passage until they find more crabs. And Necromantia could name Rune Crab, could name Cacophony. I guess we'll name Cacophony for now. And next one we'll name Rune Crab. Alright, opponent just had the one author of Cacophony, otherwise it's all crabs. And nothing else besides lands. So if we find a second Necromantia, the game's essentially over. For now I'll make a zombie. Level up Crawling Barons and make a zombie. And now we can also start drawing extra cards. So let's do that. We'll send with the Crawling Barons here. Still have a little over 200 cards in library. That's part of the reason why I named Cacophony, since this could mill over 100 cards if they manage to kick it. Alright, we'll, uh, I guess, play Crib Breaker. And then I can still discard, make another zombie. Could also be more aggressive and get in more damage with the Crawling Barons here. Make a zombie. Draw some cards. Another ley line, not very useful. Ah, 
All right, looks like her opponent had enough, and there we go. Sweet, on to the next one. All right, we're on the draw, and we seem to have a pretty balanced hand. No Leyline, but Thoughtseize against an opponent that already mulligan, so it could be a trickery deck. Nope, it is a Stitcher Supplier deck. All right, not having Ley Lines gonna hurt. I might want a Crypt Breaker over Thoughtseize. They could keep a village rights, which would make my legions end less effective. So I might have to take a look with my thoughtsies. But we do have a backup legions end. Alright, their hand's just creeping chill. And next one we can Necromancia. Naming Stitcher Supplier. And then the next one can name Creeping Chill. Opponent will get a zombie, but we can legions end it. And they're gonna end up decking pretty quickly since there's not many cards left in their library. Alright, and there's a concession, so even without our Leyline of the Void, we got the job done. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine opening hand. Facing Yurion Sky Nomad, so not sure what exactly they're up to. Alright, they're a trickery deck. Goodbye, trickery. So now we have to worry about Yurion 4 5 flyer. A stone coil we can Legion's end. Could also wait to Necromancia Ulamog and then Legions and the Zombies. But I'm gonna take a lot of damage from the Zombies, so I'm probably just gonna hold the Necromancia. Don't know if they're playing more than one Trickery. I mean, if they're playing with uh, an 80 card deck, they probably have more than one Trickery, is my guess, but opponent concedes. And there we go. So, yeah, we got to see the deck in action in a nice variety of matchups. Seeing the importance of Thoughtseize against Trickery, and then Leyline, especially against the Stitcher Supplier decks, and those are kind of the two most degenerate decks that uh, will beat up on most of the fair quote-unquote decks, but then the fair decks we can usually beat with Legion's End. It is funny that our deck would probably lose to a standard deck, since we don't have any removal for creatures that have more than 2 mana, and uh, yeah, the opponent doesn't need to do much to beat a Crypt Breaker, so it is funny how metagaming works out. But overall, I've been having a lot of fun exploring new Historic, and I'm curious to see what other people come up with. But for now, I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.